Hello, welcome back. In the last episode we created some stuff for editing a texture. In this episode we're going to create the class that actually does most of the grunt work. And that's going to be a class called Brush. Now this brush is related to, it's what I made directly before I started making the Minecraft videos, but it makes a lot more sense in this context. Um, I sort of pushed it into the Minecraft context later on. So the first thing we need to do is, this is not a mono behavior, it's just a class. Now a brush is a definition for a pattern we're going to be painting onto the map. So we're going to need to have uh, a delta, dx, and dy, and that's how the brush is moving. But we're also going to need to have a width and a height, which is how the brush is going to be blocked out. And we're also going to need to have a... Uh, a lot more complex behavior, but we'll wait on that. For now, this is enough. So the brush needs to be able to paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to say public void paint, and then we need to pass it a location that it's going to be painting, and we need to pass it the map maker that is actually accepting the painting. Like that. Now this is going to be something that's relatively straightforward for us to do. Uh, px equals x minus width divided by 2 px is less than or equal to x plus width divided by 2, px plus plus, and then we do the same thing for y. Make sure you get all of those Ys, otherwise you'll have a fun bug and it might crash Unity in a hard crash due to an infinite loop. And then we just say maker.set color x, y, p, x, p, y, and a color. Wait! We haven't specified a color. That's fine. Let's go ahead and add a color to our list of things. straightforward enough. So, we want this to be serializable. So we have to add... Oh, come on. This. None of those complicated whatever the hell was popping up with Monodevelop. Alright, so over here in MapMaker we're going to need to have a list of brushes. Might as well make it an actual list. So we need to add... Jeez, I can't type at all right now. This. Now if we go back into here and we click on the plane, and we can see that brushes is now an editable group. Now it should be noted that brushes actually, uh, when you're doing inspector level editing, it ignores any um, creation script you may have. So we didn't create this by passing it values. It's created with the absolute default values. But we can set it to whatever we would like. For example, we can make it so that it moves like this and has a color of red. Red. And then over here in the map maker, what we can do is instead of doing this, we can go through all the brush. Oh, that's not going to work. And then we say brushes zero dot paint. 
brush X, brush Y, and of course, this. And then we can delete that. And you can see that there's our brush. Now you may have noted that it looks like it's coming in from the upper right uh, rather than from the upper left. And that's because the plane that we're using actually probably has a flipped, um, it almost certainly has a flipped up and down as opposed to the camera. So we can just flip the camera or the plane around 180. There we go. So as you might guess, this is a very basic foundation for what we're going to do. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a whole crap load of brush brushes at random and then switch between them according to a pattern. That might be a little bit too complicated to do uh, uh, in this particular episode. So I'm actually going to go ahead and stop it now, even though it's a little bit short.